<sighs> okay, let's see what's missing this time around. What's inside the Loot Crate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles subscription box? Do excuse my rather loud and very obvious sigh. Having already opened up, what, four or five of these already here on this channel, I have been met with some disappointment. Disappointment, the biggest one being the wait time in which it actually took for these boxes to finally show up. Things that were promised well until early last year, now only now starting to show up at people's houses. And even then, having these boxes come to your doorstep didn't necessarily guarantee that the contents were intact. A lot of times they were either missing something, t-shirts were of the wrong size and figures that were promised to people just never showed up in their boxes. But again, I'm wishfully hoping that the next box, this box that we're gonna be opening up here, which I haven't yet opened. I did wanna tell you guys though, I did cut the tape on the front of the box before realizing that I actually didn't hit record here on the camera. <sighs> But we are going to be opening up the newest box, the newest offering from Loot Crate, and seeing exactly what level of disappointment we are about to face inside the box. Uh, again, if you guys have, if any of you guys have subscribed to the service, let me know your stories and if you've had any issues with the service. I think generally consistently across the board, one thing everybody has pretty much said is like the wait time for these boxes to show up has been insane. These things should have come and shipped last year. I think even like the year before last but they're now only starting to trickle through. And even when they trickle through, they tend to be missing a lot of things inside. So again, I have no idea. I've opened the box. Again, I, I don't know the contents inside. I'm leaving it for a surprise or possibly even disappointment. Let's just find out. So let's go ahead. Normally I would be <laughs> slicing this with a, with a knife, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, rather, I'm gonna open up the box. I suspect there's probably gonna be at least a t-shirt inside, or there's probably gonna be a couple of pins. And they're at very least, the whole reasoning why I did get on board the service in the first place was to get those limited edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA figures, which to have, as of right now, the only way to get the, those figures were to subscribe to this service. So let's check out and see, <laughs> okay. Already I can see there's stuff that's missing inside the box. And to get two figures this time around, which again, I would have to go back and look at the original planned subscription layout for what they had planned for every single month. I don't know if we were supposed to get two figures, although we, I think we're missing a figure from one of the earlier boxes. And I think now they're trying to ship. I, I don't even know anymore. It's just this, it's just hope. It's sort of like Elaine from Seinfeld. She doesn't enjoy the subs, but it gets her a free sub at the very end of stamping her card. I'm sort of like that right now. I'm happy that we at least are getting these figures. But again, the service that Loot Crate has been doing all the while, all the while for shipping out these boxes has been some level of embarrassment, I would have to say. So at least of the things that we've got, and again, I don't know if there's anything actually underneath these two figures, but we did get ourselves a pin, a Triceraton pin, which actually does look good. It looks good. But I feel like there's, I, I think there's other things actually missing inside the box here. The pin itself is of a good size. Of course, this is a collaboration between NECA and Loot Crate. So this is a Loot Crate exclusive pin. The only way to get this is to get the subscription service whenever the box eventually decides it wants to arrive. I'm going to put that to the side. Now, the whole, again, reasoning why, I don't know why I'm windshield wipering my hands in front of the camera here, but the whole real reason why, I just want to check inside. That's all I got. Two figures and a pin, which again, I think I'm supposed to be getting a t-shirt also inside. But anyways, the whole real reason why I did get onto the service was specifically for the figures. So this time around, we actually got ourselves Donatello, the Dark Turtle. Good looking figure. Again, the only way to get this was through the Loot Crate subscription box. And I gotta say, like, that's a good looking figure. I'm gonna obviously look at this guy in a separate review. That's what he looks like there on the back. There's also Rocksteady bunny suit, Bebop bunny suit, and Scrag. Now, speaking of Scrag, as I go ahead and put Donatello right there, Scrag was the other figure. And again, I think we were supposed to get this guy a long time ago, but we did eventually get ourselves Scrag. Now, I don't have Rocksteady and I don't have Bebop yet in their earlier punk looks, which ideally Scrag in a perfect world would have gone and been displayed with him or with the other, other two figures. But he comes included with a little bat swappable head, comes with a pistol, a mallet, comes with some what looks to be almost like Mickey Mouse gloved hands. Again, it's a good looking figure, but we had to wait a long time to get these guys. And uh, unfortunately, like when it goes for the rest of the unboxing here, that's all I really have to show you guys. Everything else, I would have to again go back and look exactly at what the tier was and what exactly each box was supposed to include. But all I ultimately did get in this time around, this time around, was the two figures, which again, I'm happy for. And I got myself a Triceraton pin. What other contents were supposed to be inside? 
If you did get this newest box from Loot Crate, by all means, certainly weigh in your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments section what your box included, whether it was missing things. I would certainly hope at the very least you guys would have got both your figures of Donatello, the Dark, the Dark Turtle, and Scrag. But let me know down below in the comments section what experiences you've had getting the Loot Crate subscription box. Again, I'm probably going to have to reach out to the company, just ask for the whereabouts and find out exactly what was supposed to be inside this box because I feel like there was also supposed to be a t-shirt. T-shirt is one thing that's supposed to be consistent, but I think one of the earlier boxes I did do an unboxing for here on this channel was ultimately missing a t-shirt. I think they were supposed to replenish it. They, they never did. But anyways, go. Anyways, guys, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys have had experience-wise with the Loot Crate TMNT boxes. I would like to say good or bad, but I think most people are probably leaning to more of the bad. I'm not really even sure what happened exactly with their subscription service. I mean, again, they had all the commitment plans in place to have these figures. They already had the stock of these figures. I don't know why it took so long for these boxes to finally arrive. Either way, though, if you guys certainly enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. If you're loving the content you guys are seeing, I certainly do want to stick around for more. Then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.